Hi everybody, one of the questions that we're always asked is how do you heat and cool this place and where are the floor ducts? Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? The interesting part is you invest in better walls, you invest in better, better windows, you invest in better airtightness, which means you need less heating and cooling. So everything gets to be smaller. And it also gets to the point where you go, well, do I really need those big vents in front of the window that everybody hated anyway? You had to have them because otherwise you were getting drafts off the windows. But once you've gone to the great windows, don't need to worry about that as much. Still need to distribute the air, of course. And in this case, you're using a system called Smart Duck, which was a huge amount of research done in actually Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania by a group called Ibicus that did a, a significant study on how air moves in and out of houses. And when you get to what we call a low load house, we actually find it's better to distribute the air from the ceiling or near the ceiling level, high wall. It makes a better airflow pattern without annoying people and not having to worry about curtains blowing and furniture placement. So you get the advantage. It's a great investment. You invest in the enclosure and then you get the benefits out of the mechanical system and we'll get a chance to see the system that drives it but these smart ducts uh, just a really cool way of taking advantage of the uh, advancements of, of the enclosure so if you want more information about what we're doing here at watercolor westport just go to watercolorwestport.com and similarly you'll be able to download our builder's guide uh, or consumer's guide the land arc way to a net zero ready home so watercolorwestport.com and you'll find it there.